Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Today we are going to see problem based on torsion of multi cell cross section tutorial 2. Here comes a question. Find the shear flow and twist per unit length as shown in figure. Take the shear modulus G equals to 25 into 10 power 5 Newton per centimeter square and the radius R equals to 10 centimeter. As in the given figure, the torsional moment T it is acting on a clockwise direction of 2000 Newton centimeter. And this question consists of three nodes, three different elements and as you can see in this given data we can find that area of 2 and 3 are same which is denoted by A area capital A and the cell 1 or element 1 the area is equivalent to twice of A so we can find the area of A1 that is 2A pi by 2 10 square because we know the area of a circle is pi r square and since the cell 1 is in semi circle so we get as pi by 2 into 10 power square that is radius square equals to we get as 50 pi centimeter square now as per the given figure we can see the area 2 and the area 3 is equivalent to a so we can write this two cell and the third cell are the quadrant circle so we can write pi by 4 into 10 power 2 so when we substitute the value and simplify we get as 25 pi centimeter square now again recalling the bread breadth of theory the t equals to summation of 2 q a and as per the given question we have three different cell so we can rewrite this equation as t equals to 2q1 a1 plus 2q2 a2 plus q3 a3 and we know the value of a1 a2 a3 and the t t is 2000 newton centimeter applying the value of those elements and we get as 2000 equals to 2 into q1 into 2a plus 2 into q2 into a plus 2 into q3 into a now apply the value of a and we simplify the equation and get as 2q1 plus q2 plus q3 equals to 12.73 name this as equation 1 now recalling the compatibility condition for any closed multiple section we get as beta 1 equals to beta 2 equals to beta 3 because here we have three sections so the twist per unit length of each cell are equal so we recalling the formula for beta 1 equals to 1 by 2 a 1 g close integral of q by t ds now here now what is ds? ds is a circumference so from here we can note that when we are finding for the cell 1 when you start from the point a so first we have a b so what is that a b curvature it is in semicircle so we know the circumference of semicircle is pi r so we know the r is 10 so we get the a b value as pi into 10 now next we have bd point bd point is an 10 which is also equals to the da that is a radius value now this is for the when we are finding for the point a to b that is a formula pi 10 into q1 divided by the corresponding a b value the thickness is 0.2 so divided by 0.2 then the flow is moving from b to d now see here in b to d it is sharing a common wall between the one and two and this and near the cell one the shear is flowing downwards and we are considering the cell two the flow is moving upwards so there is some interaction between the b and d between the two shears so when we are finding the beta one so we have to write this when you are finding the value of BD, Q1 minus Q2 
into the r the the ds is 10 the because the distance between the da is 10 and the thickness for the corresponding bd is 1 mm so we are converting in centimeter divided by 0.1 now next goes to the da da is in common wall sharing with the cell 1 as well as cell 3 now there is also an interaction between this q1 and q3 so here beta we are finding for the cell 1 so we will write that q1 minus q3 into ds ds over here is a value of da which is nothing but the 10 divided by the da thickness is also same that is 0.1 centimeter so divided by the corresponding thickness of that element 0 0.1 one applying the value of this a1 over there so 1 by 4 ag 357.079 of q1 minus 100 q2 minus 100 q3 name this as equation number 2 similarly same thing is done for the beta 2 beta 2 formula is 1 by 2 a 2 g close integral of q by t ds now here in this ds first when you are starting from the point b this bc is an quadrant circle so our circumference for this quadrant circle is pi r by 2 so we get as pi 5 pi now at the point cd and bd are same as a radius so it is equivalent to the 10 centimeter now let's substitute at the point bc now when you're finding bc what is the formula q ds by t now the thickness of bc is 1 mm so that is converting centimeter 0 0.1 so substituting the values that is 5 pi into q2 by 0.1 now cd cd is a wall which is sharing between the 2 and 3 so again there is an interaction between the 2 and 3 wall so we are going to find with respect to, to the point cell 2. So we are going to write Q2 minus Q3 into the distance that is 10 by and CD the wall thickness is 2 mm that is 0.2 centimeter. So that's why divided by 0.2. Then similarly we are going to find for the D b again db that wall is sharing between the 2 and 1 now here we are finding beta 2 with respect to 2 what is the change in 1 so we are going to write plus q2 minus q1 into distance that is 10 divided by the thickness 0.1 centimeter now by simplifying this equation we get as applying the value of a a2 that is a 1 by 2 ag then open the bracket 307.079 q2 minus 50 q3 minus 100 q1 this equation as equation number 3 similarly beta 3 we know the formula we know the circumference that is at the point ca it is a similar to that point 2 that is pi 10 by 2 equals to 5 pi and similarly the ad and the dc are same as a radius that is 10 now applying the value when you are finding starting from the point c here we have q3 then into ds is 5 pi by and the thickness is 0 0.1 so divided by 0 0.1 now when we are going from a to d it is also an interaction between the 3 and 1 cell so again that both the shear is different and here we are finding with respect to the point or the cell 3 so we'll write q3 minus q1 into the distance that is 10 divided by the thickness 0.1 similarly the dc value dc it is an interaction between the 3 and 2 so q3 minus q2 into the distance of the wall that is 10 by divided by the thickness thickness is 2 mm that is 0.2 centimeter now by simplifying we get as applying the value of a we get as 1 by 2 ag into 307.079 q3 minus 50 q2 minus 100 q1 name as equation number 4 in 
compatibility condition beta 1 equals to beta 2 equals to beta 3. Now let's consider beta 2 equals to beta 3. Recalling those equations and substituting the values over here of beta 2 equating to beta 3. Simplify the equation cancel of the 1 by 2 ag on both the sides and we get this equation. Now again we can cancel off this minus 100 q1 here and here also minus 100 q1. Cancel of the board, both the terms we get this and again for the simplification by keeping the q keeping the q2 in one side and q3 another side and we get as q2 equals to q3 and we get the equation 5. Similarly we can also consider now again we can consider beta 2 equals to beta 1. If you want, you can also consider beta 1 equals to beta 3. But here we have considered beta 2 equals to beta 1. You can consider anything. But in this solution, I have considered beta 2 equals to beta 1. Now applying the value of beta 2 and applying equating the value with the beta 1. Now we cancel off the common terms. Here we have 1 by 2 ag of that value and equals to 1 by 4 ag. Now we have 4. Now dividing the entire terms by 2 to equate that and we get this. Now cancel off both the 1 by 2 ag from both the side and we get this equation. Again we can cancel off the common terms that is minus 50 q3 and another side minus 50 q3. We cancel off and we get this keeping this q1 one side and q2 another side. Solving this equation, we get as Q1 equals to 1.282 Q2. Name this as equation 6. Now, recalling this equation 5 and equation 6. See, both we have in terms of Q2. Now, substituting the value in equation 1. What is equation 1? This is equation 1, 2q1 plus q2 plus q3. Now substitute in place of q1, substitute the value 1.282 of q2. And in place of q3, substitute q2. And we can get the value q2 equals to 2.789 newton per centimeter. For the equation 5, q2 equals to q3. So q3 equals to 2.789 newton per centimeter. Similarly, the substitute the value of q2 in equation 6, we get as q1 equals to 3.57 newton per centimeter. Now, this is the one of the answer. Now another thing we have to find the twist per unit length that is beta equals to beta 1 equals to beta 2 equals to beta 3. Now we can consider any one of the beta. Now here in this solution I have taken the equation 2 that is beta 1. This is the beta 1 and we know the values of applying the value of A, G and Q2, Q3 and Q1 we get as then beta equals to 9.156 into 10 power minus 7 radian per centimeter remember the unit it is radian per centimeter because it is a twist per unit length so this is a result we obtain from this solution from this question q1 equals to 3.576 newton per centimeter q2 and q3 are same that is 2.789 newton per centimeter and the twist per unit length beta equals to 9.156 into 10 power minus 7 radian per centimeter. I hope this session was very useful for you guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.